in the attitude toward it. It's not the consultation itself. It's because I think states and maybe other citizens haven't really accepted that there's a right of indigenous peoples to their ancestral property. And so if you have a right, you must obtain their prior consent before anything happens. So right now, it's it's more or less lip service to the idea, and they really haven't grasped that fundamental truth. There's a risk on the part of companies as well, not just on the people, that if they go into a project without the consent, the real genuine consent of indigenous peoples and African, persons of African descent who have ancestral titles, then you will have conflict, you will have violence. In some cases, companies that pack up and leave, as Oxfam farmers demonstrated in their study. So you can't have real peace and you can't have uh, development either. Fundamentally, yes, in a narrow sense, that they appreciate what it is they are losing more than others appreciate but really and truly because of course we're talking about their own right to property ultimately it matters to everyone because i think we must have a more consensual and a broader view of what is property and what is a state and what is the rule of law and the rule of law i think i said recently has to also mean respecting the the international human rights law, which gave indigenous people it's not just about the narrow interest of the state the narrow interest of non-indigenous people who say well we don't want to, to to, to do it this way, the way indigenous people want to do it our way.